Hey guys, it's your boy Rack coming out with a brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to reduce input lag and boost FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2. So just make sure you go ahead and follow the full guide for the best results possible. But before we start, I do wanna let you know that I make plenty of FPS and ping related videos. So do be sure to check them out on my channel. And if this video helps you guys, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for future content. So yeah guys, without any further ado, let's dive straight into the video. Okay so guys before we do anything we are gonna create a restore point just in case that some of the tweaks don't work out for you guys you can easily revert all of those changes so to do that simply go down to your start menu and search restore click on create a restore point then click on create you can name it anything I'm just gonna name it Fortnite click on create Okay, so once the restore point is created, click on close and to use it, just simply click on system restore and follow with the instructions. Now click on OK and we are done. Okay guys, so starting off with the tweaks. First up, we are gonna be resetting the cache files for Fortnite because with every new update, Fortnite keeps building up cache files which causes a lot of stutters, FPS drops and also increases the input delay. So we are gonna be fixing all of that. So to do that, first up, make sure that you exit out of Fortnite and also exit out of the Epic Games Launcher. Then go down to your start menu and search percentage, local app data percentage. Click on it. Then find the Fortnite game folder. Right click on it. Click on rename and then just put one at the end of it and press enter. Now this will change the Fortnite's graphic settings but your keybinds or controller settings etc will remain unchanged. So the next time you load Fortnite, it's gonna create a new file which will help us reduce the input lag and also boost our FPS. Next we will be doing some windows tweaking to make sure that our PC is running at its best. To do that simply go down to your start menu and search MS config. Right click on it, run it as administrator, go to boot. Advanced options, check the number of processors and select the highest number possible. For me it's 4, click on OK. Then go to services, click on hide all Microsoft Earth services and then uncheck any of the unused services but I do recommend that you don't uncheck any of the Intel, AMD or Nvidia related services as you can see right here. Then click on apply, then go to startup, open task manager. And here just right click on any of the unused apps that you don't want to start every time you boot your PC as you can always run them later manually. And uh, so just right click on them and click on disable as you can see I have already disabled these. So yeah just do that and close out of this. Click on OK and we are going to be restarting later so just click on exit without restart. This will not only boost your FPS in Fortnite but also increase the overall performance of your PC. Next up we will be setting the windows timer to max which will reduce the input delay dramatically and to do that simply go down to your start menu search cmd right click on it run as administrator and then just copy and paste this command from the description which starts with bcd edit press enter and then you can close out of it. Next up we will be changing some of the windows settings again so go down to your start menu click on this gear icon settings. Then first up go to updates and security. Make sure that your windows is always up to date as the newer version of windows does give you a slight FPS boost. Keep that in mind and if you have any optional updates right here just download those optional updates and restart your PC. Then go back and then click on privacy. Scroll down a bit until you find background apps and make sure that this is toggled off. This will restrict these apps from running in the background while you are playing Fortnite, hence increasing the FPS and potentially reduce, reducing those stutters. And then go back again and go to gaming. Make sure that the game bar is turned off unless you record with it which I really don't recommend. And then go down to game mode and make sure it's turned on if you are using any windows version above 1903. To check that go down to your start menu and search winver. Click on it and here you can see the version of windows you are currently running on. For me it's 1909 so I have turned it on. If it's anything below 1903 then turn it off otherwise turn it on. Then go back again and this time search graphics. 
click on graphic settings ok so select the classic app click on browse then go into the drive where your fortnite is installed for most of the people it will be c program files but uh, for me it's e fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and then select the first file which has the largest file size select this right here click on add click on options select high performance save and now you can exit out of it okay so you may have heard this in a lot of videos but the latest graphic drivers are crucial guys for better fps in any game specifically fortnite i will provide the link to both nvidia and amd website down below in the description so download the latest driver for your graphics card from there and install them because the latest drivers are proven to give you more fps and also reduce the input lag so try those guys okay so next we will be tweaking some settings to reduce the input delay again so go down go to your pc and go to the drive where your fortnite is installed for me it's e going to fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and then you're gonna find these four applications with the fortnite logo on them just right click on each one of them and click on properties go to compatibility tab make sure the disable full screen optimizations is checked click on change high dpi settings make sure override high dpi is checked and the application is selected click on ok apply ok and then repeat this for all four of these application files as i'm going to show you guys and then you can just close out of it okay so for the next step open up your epic games launcher go down to settings scroll all the way down to fortnite Check additional command line arguments and then just paste this command from the description which says dash use all available cores. Basically this allows the Fortnite to utilize more of our CPU hence increasing the performance and boosting FPS in Fortnite. Then you can close and just back out of it and close the Epic Games launcher. Next up go down into the description and download the Fortnite FPS pack for chapter 2 season 2 and you will need WinRAR to extract it just extract it and then open it up you will find these two go to fortnite process priority right click on the high priority click on ok this will run fortnite at high priority meaning that it will allow fortnite to use more of our cpu gpu and ram which in exchange will increase our fps in fortnite go back and then with the time resolution i recommend copying it to somewhere on your desktop and then use it every time before launching your game to use it just double click on it and before launching the game set it to maximum and then minimize it and play the game so after you are done playing just open it up again click on default and you can then close it this will greatly help you guys reduce the input lag so next we will be creating an ultimate performance power plan which will help us increase the fps and the overall performance of our pc so to do that go down to your start menu search power shell and then run it as administrator then just copy this command from the description which starts with power cfg and paste it in here press enter close it go down to your start menu again search power click on edit power plan go to power options and then click on this little arrow right here click on ultimate performance and then change plan settings change the turn off display to never click on save changes and now you can exit out of it and we have created our own power plan okay so some of you guys might be experiencing bad loading times in the next week we are gonna be fixing that by checking our hard disk drive or ssd for errors and so to do that go down to your start menu search this pc open it up and then right click on the drive where your windows is installed doesn't matter it's if it's a hard drive or if it's an ssd click, click on properties then go to tools then click on check and then scan drive basically this is gonna check the drive for any errors and if it finds anything it will automatically repair those and fix those errors this will help you guys get better loading times and fix any loading issues that you might be having due to a hard drive error. This can take some time depending on the speed of your PC. 
okay so it has finished now click on close then click on optimize and for this step I do not recommend using it on an SSD don't ever use it on SSD it's not gonna do anything if you have a hard disk drive then click on it click on optimize this is gonna take some time so I'm not doing it for the sake of the video but do recommend using it for hard disk drives you can see the media type right here so if you are using a hard disk drive just click on optimize and then after it's done click on close click on ok and you can close out of it okay so next up we will be disabling the hardware acceleration for discord and google chrome don't worry this will not affect discord or google chrome but it will give you guys a slight fps boost in fortnite and it's really simple so to do that first go to your discord click on this gear icon user settings scroll down to appearance and then scroll all the way down to hardware acceleration make sure that it's turned off and then you can close it by the way guys be sure to join my discord server link will be in the description if you need any kind of help or if you just want to chill out now you can close the discord for google chrome just click on these three dots go down to settings scroll all the way down and click on advanced then again scroll down to system and make sure that use hardware acceleration when available is toggled off and then it will ask you to relaunch chrome just relaunch google chrome and you will be done okay so for the next step guys go down to your start menu again search this pc and then right click on it click on properties then click on advanced system settings click on settings and then just basically copy all of these just check the show shadow under mouse, point, under mouse pointer show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen font and uncheck everything else click on ok ok and close out of it okay guys so for the next step go down into the description again and download the malware bytes adware cleaner this is an adware cleaner which is recommended by a lot of people like that is zero core life it's jerrion so go ahead download it from the description and open it then click on scan now so basically this will scan your pc for any adware and unwanted programs that run in the background causing stutters so it's gonna remove all of those useless programs from the background and increase your fps also reduce the input lag and fix those random fps drops okay so guys once it's done scanning just select everything and click on quarantine okay so before clicking on continue make sure that you have closed any of the programs and then click on continue okay so then it's gonna ask you to restart simply click on restart now okay so once you have restarted your pc this is message is gonna show up just simply close it and we are done with this step okay so now for the game settings just go ahead and follow all the settings that i am doing these settings will help you boost your fps and also reduce the input delay So if you guys have any questions be sure to leave them down below in the comment section and if this video helped you guys in any way be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for future content and don't forget to use code reknetic in the item shop i will see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome